the earth its origin the earth is one of the eight planets of the solar system these eight planets originated from the sun initially the cool still gases and the dust particles gradually collided with each other this collision caused heat as it is started spinning it formed into a hot gaseous cloud by gravitational attraction immanuel kant speculated that the centrifugal force caused due to the speedy movement of nebula may caused gases to separate in a spiral form the gradual solidification of these gases formed into planets nebula which is large cloud of dust and gas was pulled together by gravity collapsed into a flat rotating disk the disk eventually collapsed into the sun and the planets according to the planetesimal hypothesis put forth by camberlian and moulton a passing star attracted and separated dust and debris from the sun leaving a string of debris where are we in the space the solar system is unimaginably very large there are millions of galaxies in the universe each galaxy consists of millions of stars the sun is the biggest star among the millions of stars present in the universe we live on the earth it is one of the eight planets which revolve round the sun the sun and the planets together are known as solar system so far there has been no unobjectionable hypothesis regarding the origin of the solar system the theory of the origin of the universe put forth by georges abbe limitier has been accepted realms of the earth after the origin of the earth four major realms formed on it they are the hydrosphere the lithosphere the atmosphere and the biosphere living organisms exist on earth due to these realms these realms are known as physical elements of the earth the rocky layer of the earth is known as the lithosphere the earth is mostly covered by water these continents are separated by large salt water bodies known as oceans seas rivers lakes all put together is known as hydrosphere the vast layer of air surrounding the earth is known as the atmosphere it is a mixture of several gases such as nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide and water vapor there are also rare gases such as argon neon krypton xenon and helium in very small quantities oxygen is known as breath of life primary landforms the earth comprises of 29% land and 71% water the area of the earth above the sea level is known as land according to the theory of continental drift proposed by alfred wagner the land was once one united unit it was known as the pangaea and was surrounded by the panthalassa ocean while the region to the north of the tethys sea was known as laurasia or land of angara the region to its south was known as gondwan wagner opined that the pangaea disintegrated into land masses due to the internal heat of the earth a piece of land surrounded by water on all sides is known as an island for example japan greenland indonesia etc a piece of land surrounded by water only on three sides is called a peninsula example india 
Cape York in Australia. Secondary landforms. The land on the earth consists of mountains, plateaus and plains. These landforms were formed due to climatic changes taking place on the earth's surface, internal heat of the earth, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Mountains. The landform which is 800 meters above the sea level and has a slope is known as a mountain. For example, the Himalaya mountains in Asia, the Alps in Europe and the Atlas mountains in Africa. Mountains can be classified as fold mountains, block mountains, volcanic mountains and residual mountains. The mountains which are formed due to the plate tectonics in the Earth's interior are known as fold mountains. These mountains are very high and majestic. They cover vast areas on the Earth's surface. Plateaus Generally, plateaus are high above the sea level. They are of three types. They are intermountain plateaus, Piedmont Plateaus and Continental Plateaus. Plateau which is surrounded by hills and mountains on all sides is known as Intermountain Plateau. Tibet Plateau to the north of the Himalayas, Bolivia Plateau in South America are the examples for the Intermountain Plateaus. A Piedmont Plateau is one which lies at the foot of the mountains. These plateaus are surrounded by mountain ranges on one side and plains or sea on the other side. For example, the Deccan Plateau, the Chotanagpur Plateau. Plains Plains are of three types. They are coastal plains, erosional plains and depositional plains. Plains having their level surface same as the sea level and are called coastal plains. The plains formed due to erosional work of air, water and glaciers due to which the height shrinks are known as erosional plains. For example, Canada Shield, West Siberia Plain. Ocean Bed The area from the sea coast up to a depth of 180 to 200 meters is called continental shelf or edge. It continues as continental slope with its depth ranging from to 180 to 200 meters to 3600 meters. The deep sea plain starts from where there with an average depth ranging from 2000 to 3600 meters to 5400 to 6000 meters. The deepest part is the ocean deep or trench. There are many ocean deeps in the Pacific Ocean. Such areas are known as trenches or traps. The deepest trench in the Marina Trench in the Philippine Islands of Mindanao in the Pacific Ocean with depth of 11,000 meters. This place is recorded as the deepest area in the world. Territory Landforms A piece of land surrounded by water on all the sides is known as an island. Example, Sri Lanka, Greenland, Great Britain, etc. A piece of land surrounded by water on three sides only is called a peninsula. Example, India, Saudi Arabia. A narrow stretch of land linking two land masses and separating two water bodies is known as an isthmus. Example, Isthmus of Panama, Isthmus of Suez. A piece or point of land extending beyond the adjacent coast into the sea is known as a cape. The southern tip of Africa is known as Cape of Good Hope. The southern tip of India is known as Cape Camorin.
a dry sandy region with little rainfall and extreme temperatures is known as a desert example sahara desert in africa thar desert in india land bordering the sea is known as the sea coast example east coast and west coast in south india a steep sided valley formed by the deep narrow cutting or opening by a river is known as a canyon a waterfall is defined as a vertical fall of water of enormous volume from a great height in the long profile of the river at the mouth of the river the river divides itself into many distributaries due to the deposition of sediments over a large area this fertile deposition results in a triangular shaped formation called delta example krishna delta a narrow passage of water connecting two large water bodies by dividing two large land masses is known as a strait example park strait a deep inlet of the sea surrounded by narrow land with narrow mouth is a gulf example gulf of eden a narrow elevation on the ocean floor and a narrow top of the mountain or a group of mountains is known as a ridge example mid oceanic ridge in the atlantic ocean